good morning. Uh, it is uh, December 3rd, 2022. Um, rainy day today. It's, uh, it's about 35 degrees and uh, the rain is, is coming down pretty good. Uh, the snow that we've had over the last few days is, is uh, we have about five inches more or less uh, and uh, it is probably now a half inch uh, compacted because of the rain. Uh, a little bit of ice, uh, a little bit of freeze up this morning, uh, but it pretty much is good. it's already gone away. Uh, the temperature's already come above freezing, so it's not an issue. Uh, I ran, just ran one unit last night, uh, the, the smaller unit. Uh, simply because of the racks were were getting compromised with with debris still, um, but I did this morning turn down the the bigger unit and uh, right now we're running about 388 kilowatts so not bad uh, we're six inches above uh, us, our set point so it, it puts us about four inches above the uh, top of the flashboards. Hopefully that'll keep flushing the river and we won't get any more garbage in it, uh, but who's to say? Uh, the weather forecast for today is like half inch rain, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, it it might, might continue all day, I don't know. Um, and if it does, we'll, keep, we'll just keep pounding away. Uh, making making some power and everybody be happy that way. Uh, we uh, yesterday went up to Seville and, and did a little bit of work up there. Uh, we ran into some issues with uh, with the shower valve itself and how we're going to set it. But uh, for the most part, we've got that figured out. We just need to get some wood up there. Uh, the problem we have, we live in a, in a vast forest, but nobody here sells wood. The nearest place we sell that sells wood is about 40 miles away, and that has to be trucked in. So, and that means you buy a whole sheet. You need a little piece of plywood, you're buying a whole sheet. So, you gotta get some, you gotta order some plywood anyway, so I guess I'll just go ahead and bite the bullet and order a sheet of plywood. Uh, we're working on, uh, we're still working on that, that, that uh, I worked on another uh, furnace estimate yesterday. I, I just, I just cannot believe the pricing. Uh, I, I know that uh, we hear the politicians tell us the economy is improving. Yeah, it's improving for who? Um, a, a cheap uh, a furnace, the, the cheapest furnace I can, I can find, uh, including the, the conversion kit, because we are propane, so you got to get a conversion kit, you got to get some sheet metal to make the adaption, uh, the you know, adapted to whatever you're putting in it, uh, you've got to do new venting, and the hookup, uh, you know, yeah, you can buy it cheaper, but it's twenty six hundred bucks. That's a cheap furnace. Um, three years ago, that cheap furnace would have been thousand dollars installed, uh, and, and I'd have made I'd have made a couple hundred bucks on the whole deal and walked away and been happy. You can't, you can't do that anymore. It's it's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, I'm going to go present the, uh, the the boiler estimate today, and, and uh, hopefully I can do CPR when I get there because boy, the numbers are scary, and I don't I don't know how people are going to be able to do it. Uh, but I can't do anything about it. That's that's my my dilemma. I'm trying to do a, a cost effective job. I'm still trying to make money because that's what I'm in business for, and uh, you know I, I've got to make money. Uh, but 
it's, it's really hard. Uh, and I know the other day we were talking about, uh, I, I talked about raising my, my labor rate and uh, I don't know how I'm not gonna. I, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I, I, I read today that uh, that uh, Morgan Stanley is saying that there's uh, um, let me get this correct. Morgan Stanley said that there's 24 uh, a 24 percent uh, decrease coming in the uh, stocks. So, 24% decrease in stocks in, in the early part of 2023. Uh, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, and at the same time, the Bank of America has said that there's more than a 50% chance of a deep recession in 2023. Uh, they announced that at the same time that the that the uh, the crazy media said, "Oh, we're going to see three dollar gas prices by Christmas. We're we're on the right track." But at Christmas time, all the Venezuela oil that we're buying is coming in. If groceries cost you thirty percent more, it doesn't matter what you do; it's going to cost you thirty percent more. If, if gas prices go down 50 cents across the board, yippee skippy, food prices went up 30. You still can't go nowhere. Uh, you still, you're still still in the same dilemma that you were in. Uh, I, I've got a lot of people that are that are going. I got to do something different for my heating seat, my heating because heating cost me X number of dollars. Uh, one lady already called me and said. Uh, I was going to keep the camp open uh, to come up a few weeks, uh, but with the gas prices, my LP prices, I'm not going to do it. It's ridiculous. Everything has an effect. Everything has a uh, a repercussion of what you're doing. So if uh, uh, you know, if you're looking at trying to, to do something different, I don't know how you're going to do it. Uh, I saw, just saw this morning that uh, somebody here in the speculator area purchased a, a house that was trying to be sold. It, it, it's a dump. Uh, it needs a lot of work, needs to be fixed up, but they're uh, advertising it for rent. For a family, three bedroom house, for a family, is $1,795 a month. $1,795 a month plus utilities. All right, now if you are, if you are trying to feed a family, you're paying a car payment, you're paying insurance, you're paying uh, Seventeen hundred ninety-five dollars a month for rent, eighteen hundred bucks for rent, uh, and you're trying to buy food while you're living up here. You're not going to survive. I'm gonna tell you right out, you are not going to survive. Nobody up here pays that kind of money. Where where you would both have to be making twelve bucks an hour or twenty bucks an hour to survive. Um, and you're just not going to do it. It's just not going to, you just can't. Um, right now, uh, the only place that is, that is doing any kind of, not even really hiring, is the grocery store. The grocery store pays eh, 12 to $15 an hour. Um, and it's, and it's part-time. So you're going to work 20 hours a week. You're not going to survive. You're just not going to do it. Uh, it, it's, it, it. With what I make, uh, I have to, I, at the power dam, I still have to do side work. Uh, because the power dam is a part-time job. Uh, I based everything that I do 
on what I make here. So the income coming from the the uh, the side from the plumbing business, the plumbing heating business, is <clears throat> added an extra. I don't rely. I don't. I rely on it. I don't count on it to make my my monthly living expenses. <coughs> if I don't would do any plumbing work, uh, that means things like going out to dinner, then you know maybe cutting off the cell phones, uh, changing things we do will happen. But. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I'm trying to come up with the, with a with a plan and a solution uh, because we don't have any industry up here. And if we're going to start looking and seeing these kind of stupid uh, uh, payments and stupid costs, people are coming. Uh, <clears throat> and what has happened is some of the smaller businesses have been, have been bought up. Uh, and the people that are buying them up are coming from larger cities and going, well, that's a reasonable cost, a reasonable price. Well, uh, I don't know for sure, but I can tell you from driving by some places, some, some of the businesses, that those places aren't doing that well. Uh, they are, they are struggling now because they automatically came in, they raised the prices way up and said, well, people will pay it because they're here. <clears throat> well, that, that's great why the people are here. Through the summer, people are here. In the wintertime, you've got to get your bread and butter for the people who live here. And you cannot charge that kind of money just because people don't have it. Uh, it's the local economy, not the state of New York economy. Uh, but you know, I'm not an economist. I'm not. I'm not the guy that I didn't invest my money into those kind of things. It's really not my problem. What I believe is my problem is that my neighbors won't be able to live here. Uh, so that's that's what our, my concern is. I, I want to make it. I want to make it so that we, that the young kids <coughs> take off. They, they right now they they graduate from high school and they are out of here <coughs> simply because they can't find a job. They can't get a job. They can't make any money. Uh, you know they don't want to live at home all their lives, but they can go 50 miles, 60 miles away and make 25 bucks an hour. You cannot do that here. Uh, and, and uh, you know, so reluctantly, I think I'm going to have to raise my prices. And, and interesting, interestingly enough, uh, the people that have purchased things and have raised the prices uh, to, to make, so that they make more money and they make more profit and are buying these places up to rent them out for $1,795 a month complain about my prices. <laughs> Saying that I'm too high for the area. Well, if I'm too high, then you're too way too high because I can only base buying on what you're paying, what you're charging. So, regardless, that's stupid. Uh, I'm not going to take you outside today because it's raining and uh, it's it's, it's kind of miserable, uh, but maybe I will, I don't know. Uh, I, I, try, I always come, I sit in here and try to come up with, with solutions and, and, and plans and, and things to see what is what, what we can do different, how we can improve on, on uh, the area. And, uh, and make it more volatile, uh, you know. I'm one of the youngest, uh, <laughs> youngest plumbers in the area. Uh, I'm gonna be 59 in a month and a half. Uh, 
and there are there's uh, uh, one guy who works for another company because he can't make it on his own and he's out here you can see how nasty a little bit foggy out here I think we're fogging up a little bit but there we go but anyway so it's uh, I just don't get it <laughs> I'm trying not to uh, trying not to get a little bit of rain on you but We got water coming down. Water's running pretty good. Uh, just trying to let me get off this way a little bit. It's real slick, so I'm not, not going to get you too carried away here. But you can see we're higher than we were. See, this is just, this is just a, a nasty, sloppy mess. Get over here and take a look at the, uh, the check-ins this morning. I don't, none of them are out. Uh, their light bulb inside broke. Uh, well, it did break. It blew out. And so I've got a heat lamp in there now. Uh, <laughs> although they like it, Chickens need need about 14 hours of uh, of light, sunlight, uh, a day to be productive layers. Uh, with the heat light, they're not very productive layers. So, anyways, so that's about what we got for today. Big slushy mess. Uh, gonna try to come down here a little bit later with uh, Lee put the chains on the tractor uh, I think that's gonna we're gonna try to get that taken to uh, mr. Bill's garage and mr. Bill can uh, do his thing there looks like looks like our our water is now running where it should be back down the stream a little bit better uh, i don't like it when it runs out of here and anyways so yeah, I, I actually gave the chickens a uh, a pie this morning they had what was left of a uh, a store bought uh pumpkin pie wasn't very good <laughs> uh, but they devoured it, so <laughs> uh, I've got a couple pumpkins sitting on the on the porch. I need to get down here for the uh, for the deer before they melt away. A little little little, uh, little bit of ice on the car this morning, so I'm going to shut you off. Uh, hopefully, the sunshine over where you're at, and it's a little bit warmer. But you guys have a great day.